Okay, Angie, I hope you find this helpful. This is where you're going to be at in Brevard. Um, I know one of the first places that you had mentioned was Looking Glass Falls. You can see the relationship as how close it is. Looking Glass Falls really isn't a trail. It's right by the highway. It's a very, it's a pretty good sized waterfall. And you basically just pull your car to the side. I think it's worth seeing, but it's not really a hike. So it'd be something you can see. But I will say there's Brevard. And again, here's the DuPont State Park. That's one of the best state parks in North Carolina. It has several trails there. I would definitely, you know, say that would be one you'd want to do. Um, it has a loop in it. Honestly, I can't remember the mileage on it, but it has one trail where you just keep going straight and you actually see three different sets of waterfalls, but you can also, there's a loop in that park as well. And you'll want to get there early because that, that park is pretty busy. DuPont State Park. You can see Brevard there. There's DuPont. Um, just south of where you're at, Brevard, it's about 35 miles to Pickens, South Carolina. You can see here's the North Carolina, South Carolina state line, and here's Pickens. And in Pickens, uh, there's a state park called Table Rock State Park, the Pinnacle Mountain Trail in Pickens, South Carolina. As I said, it's about 35 miles from Brevard. So you're right across the state line there. Then over here, there's several trails over in this area. In fact, there's a bunch of trails. Here's, again, here's Brevard. Right over here is Highland, North Carolina. You got Bridal Veil Falls. You got Dry Falls. Uh, you have Bust Your Butt Falls. Um, there's a mountain over there called Whiteside Mountain. Uh, there's a Yellow Mountain Trail. In that area, I think it's 13 miles long over in this area of Highland. And there again, there's Brevard. Again, that was Looking Glass. And again, that's just a place where you just pull off to the side of the road. And you can see a pretty good-sized waterfall. Now, up here in Sunburst, that's in the Pisgah National Forest. And there's a trail there that's right off the Bluegrass Parkway, a Blue Ridge Parkway. It's called Devil's Courthouse, but it's only about a three-mile trail. Now, I will say, I, I, I can't remember how long you told me you and your um, friend was going to be hiking in this area, but if you're going to be here more than, you know, three three days or so, I don't know that you're going to be busy enough in this area to, if you're there for more than three days. Uh, from this area up into this area of North Carolina, is about an hour and 45 minutes. I would definitely say if you're that close to North Carolina, I know it's a drive back if you're staying in Brevard, to drive back uh, an hour and 45 minutes, you would drive on the Bluegrass Parkway here. And it's definitely, the drive itself is worth going to North Carolina, in my personal opinion, because on this Bluegrass Parkway, there are literally uh, probably hundreds of pull-offs, places where they have set aside where you can pull off and just look at the, through the mountains, a lot of different areas. Now, there's one specific one that uh, you can uh, stop at. It's called the Rough Ridge Lookout. And the actual address of it is 3218 Blue Ridge Parkway, Linville, North Carolina, 28646. At this Blue Ridge or Rough Ridge Lookout on the Blue Ridge Parkway, um, you, you park and then there's a trail right off the parking lot, right behind it. And it's a very short, maybe 10 minutes, but it has a spectacular view when you get around to it. And you'll understand what I'm talking about. If you do happen to get up in that area. Now we'll say on up in this area, there are a lot of trails, a lot of mountains in this area, a lot of views. Um, over here is Boone, North Carolina, and that's basically where I stayed because I was up in this area a lot, and it has about 80 hotels here. I don't know if you're down in where you're staying in Brevard, and I don't know if you have what kind of uh, cancellation policy they have, but if you come hiking up in this area, you might want to consider, you know, changing hotels or whatever. That's up to you. I'm not telling you what to do. You might want to, don't mind the two-hour drive, or you may not even want to get up in this area if you're not going to be there more than three days. Uh, but 
several places here that I'll point out is um, there's a place called Crabtree Falls. It's a short hike, though. It's kind of it's in a place called Little Switzerland. Um, it's like maybe three miles round trip, I think. In it, but it's an in and out. I know you said you want to try to go around, but um, I don't know if that's the uh, one of the better hikes. It's it's okay, but now Linville Falls, that's definitely worth doing. Um, there's some places there uh, that you can park, and there's a river there. And there's a beautiful view because they got these old stone bridges. Oh, they look like old stone bridges. It's, it's a new highway, but the bridges look like they're older, uh, but they're well kept looking. Anyway, this Blue Ridge Parkway, like I said, is just loaded with places to go. Uh, there's a place called Grandfather Mountain right here. That's uh, I can't remember what the elevation is, but it's definitely all through this Blue Ridge Parkway. It's places for you to, to go hiking and, and and especially with spe spectacular views, and there's also waterfalls in these areas as well. Um, let's see if there was somewhere else I was going to talk about. Uh, over here is Mount Mitchell. Again, you can see on the Blue Ridge Parkway where you're where you're located. There's Asheville. There is the Mount Mitchell. I will say that if you're in any of these mountain areas up here along the Blue Ridge Parkway, I know you mentioned something about it might be some rain during that time frame that you're down there. You definitely don't want to be at the highest elevation when it begins to rain because all of a sudden it gets super foggy. And I was up there and um, when it was raining and you literally couldn't see the cars in front of you. I mean, I drove white knuckled for probably 25 miles uh, to finally get down out of the mountains when it was raining. And it took a very long time and it was very stressful simply because I couldn't see the cars in front of me. And you're at a high elevation. And quite honestly, there were some places that didn't have guardrails up that I thought probably should have. But anyway, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to tell you if you're up on this Blue Ridge Parkway anywhere up in the mountains, when it begins to rain, if it's raining hard, you might want to be ready to pull off and wait it out, depending on how long it's going to rain. Hopefully, this was helpful. Again, I'm, I'm highlighting where you're staying, Brevard. Several places to go around that area. Like I said, this from Brevard down to this place in Pickens, South Carolina, like I said, it's about 35 miles. But if you're here and going to go back up in this area here where there's a lot of waterfalls and mountain views, it's about an hour and 45 minutes from Brevard. Uh, I would highly suggest that when you get into North Carolina that you stop at one of the uh, state rest stops or one of the uh, or one of the state parks, maybe have, have one. But you definitely want to have a map of North Carolina with you because there are areas where you don't have, or I didn't have, Wi-Fi. And so I w if I didn't have the map, I wouldn't have figured out how which, which direction to go in. But anyway, I hope this uh, this uh, you find this helpful. And uh, like I said, uh, as I had mentioned to you before, if you and your friend get over here and it's going to rain someday and there's some other places I know of in this area, just text me and I'll, I'll uh, uh, send you some suggestions as well. Or well, if you have any questions or just run into any trouble, just, just give me a shout. Thank you.